We right back at it then. This time, been a minute making some 140 rave stuff with Ableton, the outboard samplers, and the old school synths. Started off with a baseline for the DX100. This is a classic late 80s FM synthesizer. Following on for the DX7, it's got that wood bass sound. So I did this. This is the Casio HT6000. It's overlooked quite a lot because it just looks like a piece of shit. But it's actually a four oscillator synthesizer and is capable of making proper ravey sounds. The only problem is you can't save them unless you've got this really rare RAM card here. But managed to pick one up. So I've been making sounds on it. Made some proper ravey stabs. So you've got this. <laughs> Then I also made a bass sound on it. There's a few other layered string sounds off the Casio, and I mean, this thing is an absolute beast, and I'm going to be using it a lot in the future. In the track, there's a few breaks put together, but this is the main one here. Everything was put into the Akai 1100. Check this out. I used the Gen SX1000, and then just did a little riff like this. Used the Korg 03R for a piano and strings parts and then played it in here. I wanted to get a big vocal for the drop with the piano, so I had this sample. I think I love you. All of it was chopped up like this. In my dreams, times or maybe more. Yeah. Used the TB303 and made a bass pattern that sounded like this. Can't make a rave track without a bit of a rave whistle. I use the Sequential Circuits Pro one as well. In it, it has a little sequencer which can record up to, I think it's 64 notes. So you just put it in record and press like this. Then put it into play mode and it goes. And that's the bit that I put in the track. Made a little sequence on this modular synth. Finally, I use this keyboard as well. It's an Acid House Classic. It's an FM synthesizer, but it's got some special quirks to it. So I was doing this bit live through the song. Anyway, as always, enough chatting. There's a few more samples in there, a few more vocal bits, a little easy E scratch, and there's even a Fleetwood Mac sample in there, if you can clock it, pretty sure you can. At the minute, I've got a hardcore album finished and a jungle album finished, so I'm ready to just get them out there. But anyway, here we go, arranged in Ableton, more Ableton rave bangers, let's go. Mm -hmm. 